key revocation is a natural part of the certificate lifecycle in your PKI. And generally, we'll use something like a certificate revocation list or a CRL that's maintained by the certificate authority to be able to look for the keys that have been revoked. There are a lot of different reasons, obviously, for revoking keys. And one of the things that we need to think about is what the changes are that's going to cause a key to be revoked. Sometimes it's just a natural part of the process where a key is expiring and we might want to revoke it. Or it may be the case where there's been some fraud. And these are things that we see all the time. For instance, March 23rd of 2011, Microsoft announced that a third party to a certificate authority had created and distributed some fraudulent certificates. And many of them were Microsoft, some were Yahoo, there was Skype, there was Google, there were a number of different certificates there. And that, of course, meant that all of these particular domains and the certificates that were created had to be revoked. And we had to update our browsers and the other applications that use these certificates to keep that in mind. If you're using PGP or OpenPGP, then you don't have a central certificate authority. You are your own authority of the certificate. You're building the certificate yourselves. And of course, you are revoking the certificate yourselves. Obviously, in a web of trust, you create your own certificates. Other people sign your certificates. Everybody trusts everyone else. And therefore, you're creating that nice web of trust. But when you create your certificate, you might also want to consider going ahead and creating a revocation certificate as well. That way, if anything was to happen to your private key, you would have a way to revoke that certificate without having direct access to your private key at all. And you can even take that key and enable other people to be able to revoke your certificate. That way, if something was to happen to you or happen to the computers that you are using, there would be someone else who is outside of the scope of that issue that could then revoke your certificate and make sure that nobody else would be able to use that in the future.